Good morning, Mr. Rikke. Uh, can you have a, can, can we have your thoughts about the book Sachin Born to Bat, authored by Khalid Ansari? Yeah, I've just received a copy of this book from Clayton Murzello and uh, I'm delighted with the kind of uh, the quality of the book. It's outstanding. You know, anybody can write volumes on Sachin Tendulkar simply because there is so much to write about. Uh, his scores, his commitment, his passion for the game. For 22, 22, 23 years is a long time for people to, you know, write on him because there's so much. But it's a very unique book in the sense that uh, lots of people have contributed in the book Riff on the day he started playing the game. And then to collate all those articles together of great uh, players of the past, great writers of the past, is something very unique. And Jayco uh, Publishing Books uh, have done a wonderful job. Uh, I have read parts of it. Uh, I've been, you know, when I read a book, I read something very fast. I'm a fast reader. But I'm going to read it once, twice, thrice because I want to assimilate whatever has been written. And the contribution by all greats of the game, journalists who have been in the business for 30, 40, 50 years, somebody like Khalid Ansari who has been the doyen of uh, you know, Indian journalists writing. And uh, when Khalid asked me for the first time, along with Clayton, to write an article on Sachin Tendulkar, I believe that was the first article written in English on the great man in Sports Week. And when I read that piece in your book uh, in December 1988, I wonder, I, I say to myself, did I write that? But uh, I can tell you for one thing, sure, that uh, there was never any doubt in my mind or in anybody's mind when we saw the Sachin Tendulkar playing at the age of 12, 13, 14. And uh, you know, many a time there's a child prodigy which is uh, talked about by everybody in the world. But somewhere along the line, the prodigy, prodigy fizzles out. In Tendulkar's case, he didn't fizzle out. And you know why? Because of his passion for work, his, uh, his uh, dedication to the game, his loyalty to the game, and his great integrity. Uh, I congratulate Jayco for this outstanding book. I hope it does well because uh, this is the kind of book one expects to read and not volumes and volumes of uh, somebody writing, you know, over the, over the 100, 200 pages. Every piece is different. Every piece is readable. And once again, uh, thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to put my piece in this book. And I hope this book does well. And congratulations to Jayco. So what are you to you are the highlights of the book? Uh, personally, I think that uh, first and foremost, it's written in a very crisp manner simply because the style is different. You know, you got quotes of players in short, you know, and then you got articles written by people who have seen Tendulkar at close quarters. Uh, this is not attempted before, I'm sure, and I think it's not done, but the kind of collation of uh, information of articles from great reader, from great writers is something different. It is a different book, there's no doubt about it, and uh, I'm glad it's come out that way. Who do you think? Okay. Who do you think will the book appeal? Oh, it should appeal uh, to all youngsters in India, simply because Tendulkar is a great icon of the game. Uh, people will need to read, you know, youngsters today don't read too many books. And uh, in my time, we read books on Bradman and everybody, but youngsters today don't read books. Uh, one of the things that Gavaskar did was he, he, you know, read so many books on the game. That's why his knowledge on the game increased. And I hope today's cricketers read these books. And of course, the entire country is going to read the books because the because the subject of the book is Tendulkar. Thank you.